Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope everyone doing fine, doing good. Please like and subscribe. Okay, uh, for today video, I will cover on the chapter 11, designing interfaces and dialogues. So, uh, for today video, I want to have a mix in Malay and English. Hope it's okay for you. Alright, uh, on this one, okay, uh, it's a lot to cover actually, but most of in this chapter is the example and how the tips and do and don'ts uh, in designing the interface and dialogues. Okay, we go for the learning objective first. Okay, explain the process of designing interface. Okay, let's uh, I sum up so on this one. Okay, uh, kenapa kena buat this uh, interfaces and dialogues? Okay, sometimes they have uh, interfaces, uh, sometimes they have a uh, dialogue, sometimes they are not. But most of the system will have an uh, interface. Okay, so the importance of uh, interfaces, of course, is to the information system interact with the people and the other system, correct? So, if you have a poorly designed user interface, uh, can make the information system unusable. Let's say you have a uh, great features, ada macam-macam function lah dalam you punya system, boleh buat generate report ini lah, boleh produce this graph lah. But if your system is designed poorly, maksudnya interface dia kelakabut lah, which is, it's hard for the user to get to know or use the system. Meaning that your system will be unusable Ataupun Nak kata Tak ok lah okay. Poorly designed system interface are a source of uh, errors And also the Unefficient uh, And this Inefficiency of the your punya system So yes If you design uh, Your punya Interface tu contoh lah You minta dia punya Input in the Numbers But People can enter apa ni huruf kat dalam uh, you punya form ke contoh lah. So they akan generate errors kat situ sebenarnya dalam you punya uh, system. So kita tak nak ada benda tu sebenarnya. So we want to have a efficient system. So efficient system will comes with a uh, help with the grades of uh, interfaces and dialog. And of course sebelum ni the chapter 10 is on this uh, forms and report lah. Okay, and user and system interface involve both inputs and output and it covers a lot actually. Alright, that's how I sum up on these uh, interfaces and dialog. You can read on this one. Okay, I now focus on this one. Prototyping methodology of iteratively meaning that it process, the process is continuous. Collecting information, yes, you can collect information from these uh, users. Can Macam you buat uh, JAD session tu, you got the information from this uh, user, from the stakeholder, from the information system, so siapa lah kan. And then constructing a prototype, to that you get the, the information, try buat the prototype. And then assessing usability, okay, what is a usability ni kat sini sebenarnya. You kena tahu maksud usability ni mampak macam, yes, macam boleh guna lah sebenarnya kan usability. But it is actually degree of uh, something is able to be uh, used or fit to to use. Okay, that's is a usability. Okay, you not think oh, betul betul. Uh, everyone, uh, in general, semua orang boleh guna lah. Uh, which is normal people ataupun people with uh, with the difficulties, they can use your system perfectly. Okay, uh, making refinement ni. It's about you can uh, after you have a prototype too, and then think of uh, the test with the uh, actual user. Think of the own punya uh, feedback, and then you making a refinement, ni correction lah. Maybe buang element yang tak diperlukan dalam you punya interface or dialog ataupun penambahan penambahbaikan. This is a refinement. So you have to answer the who, what, where, and how question here. Okay. Okay, so we are on this design, still on the design phase. Belum masuk implementation lagi. 
So I can say but kita dah uh, chapter 11 Okay tinggal lagi satu chapter lagi chapter 12 So nak habis dah sebenarnya Okay Alright deliverables and outcome Creation of design specification Typical interface dialog design specification Is similar to form design Sama je lebih kurang macam form design But it include multiple forms and dialog sequence specification So that makes uh, That things is an interface Okay so mostly on this uh, specification, they are the narrative overview. Narrative overview ni, as you know, uh, sequence of story lah, macam interrelated events. Okay, kena ikut dia punya sequence lah, daripada awal sampai ke akhir. Jangan tiba-tiba jump je, daripada something of A to Z ni, you jump terus J, Q. So make a confuse to the user who want to use your system. So make sure have to have a good narrative, uh, sample design. Testing as you should lead the usability assessment. Okay, as I said, uh, you have to test with the actual user before the actual system will be implemented, and have a dialog sequence if uh, needed. Lah, dialog sequence is the way a user can move from one display to another. Alright, design specifications. Kita kat ada sini ada narrative overview, interface dialog design. So sebenarnya kita ada kat sini uh, testing and usability. Hmm. Okay, no, no worries that one So we go for the first one here Interface, what is actually the definitions A method by which a users interact with an information system Like I said on the early tadi lah, mula-mula tadi So all human computer interface must have interaction style And use some hardware device for supporting their interaction This interaction lah Meaning that uh, if you design on the system, it can be used on the desktop punya versions, it can be used on the mobile punya version, it can be used on the tablet punya version, so it can be accessed anywhere with any device, alright? So, kat sini ada command line, include keyboard shortcut and function keys, how you want to put a menu later on, the forms, object base, natural language. Okay, kita go for one by one, this one, kalau silap common line common language interaction a human computer a human computer interaction method whereby user enter explicit statement into a system to invoke operations okay uh, i can say that okay ni kita akan tengok hci dulu lah sebenarnya kat sini sorry eh uh. macam mana everyone pkp okay hmm kita tak boleh ai tak boleh balik raya ni Okay, dah okay ni. Alright. Do you know what is human, human computer interaction? In the uh, singkatan je, glamour name dia is HCI. Okay, it's one of the, I can say, uh, cost, bukan cost lah. So one part of the computer science punya uh, IT or computer science punya macam ni, a module lah, kan, a module. But HCI ni is a study of how people interact with computer and what extent the computer uh, or not develop for successful interaction with uh, human beings. Meaning that HCI ni nak observe how to, uh, the ways a human ni, kita manusia, interact with the computer and technology and macam mana lah, uh, is it user friendly or not. So you can actually learn satu chapter lah or course on this uh, HCI Okay mm, Okay and that one ni just for the definition So common language interaction ni Yes human computer interaction method Whereby user enter explicit statement into the system to invoke operation Contoh I nak tekan enter Yes maksudnya enter tu mesti pergi Ataupun mesti goes to go another Okay maybe meaning they goes to another form the submit the form ataupun uh, execute the things bukan kita tekan enter dia terus delete something on the things that we have key in okay so mesti betul lah and then kita ada uh, menu interactions okay uh, lagi HCI method in which a list of system option is provided and specific command is command is invoked by user selection and uh, offer menu option menu interaction tu tak ada macam dia tekan menu yes should be Keluar menu yang sepatutnya uh, And then we have a pop-up menu A menu positioning method that place a menu near the current cursor position Mostly yes, if have uh, no, uh, ada alerts ke ataupun notifications 
untuk alert the user so we can have a pop up menu drop down menu as you know yes like uh, macam mana uh, you tekan kat sini uh, ni drop down lah ni lebih kurang okay. method that place access point of the menu near the top line of the display so kenapa kena belajar kena belajar this pop up menu menu interaction drop down menu ni uh, so that you can have a system maybe you want to have a make a prototype later on you kena design dulu uh, draft dulu how you want to have your apa ni dia panggil ni hmm. you kena ada draft dulu lah macam mana you want to tadi lah uh, narrative tadi okay, it can be a multi multi level tree menu kalau you pernah belajar ASM ASM ke masa diploma ada satu tu web design and ww dan internet design ke apa uh, ada pasal benda ni okay, uh, multi level tree menu or multi parents uh, punya menu ataupun combination of both okay because okay macam linear sequence ni mostly on the tutorial something kita boleh guna on the linear sequence meaning that they complete the first uh, the first training baru go to the second baru go to sampai lah habis okay kalau yang macam ni kan macam shopping cart kan maybe can have this multi level or multiple parents ni so multiple parent parent ni as a big uh, module lah and then kita ada small small module to cover on that chapter ke macam tu lah alright make sure that on the menu interaction you punya wording organization consistent length apa tu all choices fit within the screen length kalau boleh yes uh, use the general selection so selection consistent meaning that uh, the transition from page to another page is uh, sama lah sepatutnya consistent and highlighting only for selected option or an available option ok kalau you nak buat macam highlighting tu make sure that it not confuse the user because kalau you highlight something of the words dalam you punya system meaning that mostly people akan tend to know uh, tend to uh, agak benda tu is a link sebenarnya so they click they, they ingat dia nak jump to another page atau go to another browser so you have to avoid lah kalau nak highlight tu yes which color that you should use so kita akan go for the next ni tengok macam mana ni uh, contoh saja sebenarnya uh, this one on the visual basic memang kena buat satu-satu ni sebenarnya uh, thank god you don't have this uh, visual basic punya assessment in my degree dulu I, I ada buat ni buat system I kena buat visual basic kena buat dulu storyline kat storyline story mode dulu and then baru kita boleh execute on the one by one on what things that we want to have on the system ok tadi on the menu interactions on the wording as a organization length sections and highlighting then we have this form interaction ok sebelum ni dah ada form apa ni ada form lagi a highly intuitive intuitive human computation method whereby data fields are formatted in a manner similar to paper based form Okay, this one like a chapter 10 sebenarnya make sure that yes you punya lengths you punya box semua ni as correct atau consistent okay object based interaction another one is a human computer interaction which symbols are used to represent command or function okay we can use the icon contoh macam ni ada keluar gambar icon printer kan we know that already this is to print on this uh, whole page Okay, so use the uh, general icon print ni jangan terlibat ada printer yang canggih pula so make sure this thing is common lah apa lagi as a object base uh, mostly yes for this uh, apa ni uh, kanta ni magnifying magnifying glass uh, kita boleh zoom in and zoom out and then macam mana kalau nak go home button maybe you letak boleh gambar rumah tu ke Okay, meaning that people click on that home they can go to the first page of your uh, system ok that's a uh, object base ok as you can see on the this one I think is on the google chrome punya browser option setting ok privacy dia ada letak mask ni security dia ada letak uh, this lock kan bangga uh, sinks ni macam gambar pusing-pusing ni kan so pick the icon that fits atau mostly common use in the general punya setup lah 
Okay, natural language interactions uh, is a human computer interaction lagi okay? semua pasal HCI eh? because they wants to look on this uh, how you human uh, interact with the computer okay, whereby inputs to and output from a computer based application are in a conventional spoken language such as English you perasa tak ada setengah website atau system they have this common punya uh, voice language ya. Please enter Apa uh, Your IC number Tak tahu macam tu eh Jarang lah boss Because this one Mostly is a May take time But for the tutorial things Ataupun for the first time punya uh, User punya experience They will have this uh, Natural language interaction Okay based on research In artificial intelligence Okay Kenapa kena ada suara robot ni Because Sometimes people tends to uh, Malas nak baca lah They want they, uh, Because terlampau banyak kan Terlampau banyak paragraph Atau the instruction is too long So they have better to have this uh, Sounds punya Or language interaction punya Command lah Lagi senang People tend to listen nowadays kan Mostly dia akan dengar Because malas nak baca So they just dengar Then they know how to do it actually Step by step Alright Okay, uh, hardware option for system interaction It can be all these things Touch screen, light pen uh, Voice, trackball Trackball ni lama punya Okay uh, Usability problem with hardware device So make sure that okay, When you use this on uh, Hardware Kalau you guna hardware dekat atas ni Okay, but there are some problems sebenarnya Untuk usability tadi uh, Visual blocking, extent to which device block display when using Kalau let's say Macam mana joystick tu Joystick yang besar tu macam ada Macam gear kereta tu sebenarnya Tu joystick sebenarnya Dia akan block yes Kalau joystick tu ada kat depan ni punya monitor So dia akan block the view sebenarnya So you have to place the joystick tu dekat tempat yang sesuai Which is not blocking the display Uh, user fatigue, uh, potential for fatigue for over long use okay, uh, Most kepada apa ni, uh, ergonomik punya things okay, Movement, scaling, uh, durability okay, Lack of durability of needs of maintenance, cleaning over extend use okay, Make sure, yes because macam mouse pun kita, Kalau kita pakai klik tu sampai berjuta, beratus juta kali pun dia akan rosak kan so that's a, have to look uh, on the durability and we have another one this is uh, adequate feedback extent to which device provide adequate feedback for each operation uh, make sure that yes if they ada error ke apa keluar kena ada yes a feedback so that you can inform the system administration this kind of uh, error happens then dia orang boleh uh, improve on the next punya atau update ataupun apa-apalah and then speed cursor movement tak terlampau laju tak terlampau slow pointing accuracy yes have to be accurate lah ok uh, this thing is the uh, summary of interaction device ok kalau macam keyboard tadi yes mungkin ada kita boleh movement scaling speed ni kan ada orang type slow ada orang type lambat depends kan so you just tengok lah uh, which one is suitable with your system because on the system ni tak semestinya dia akan guna mouse keyboard je maybe dia akan ada another device uh, to be included dalam dia punya system so tu nak pakai mic pun boleh dalam dia punya system kalau let's say you want to have the voice punya Uh, apa nama panggil voice active interaction apa ya voice over benda lah benda lah maksud dia guna suara untuk make sure the uh, admin user tu is, is the actual user on the system ok again next is on this design interface form have several general areas in common ok mostly kalau form ni kita ada header sequence time related information Uh, instruction format, formatting information body or detail you follow the format lah actually sebenarnya this one uh, don't go uh, jangan pergi ataupun jangan create something that unusual lah atau something wow which is nanti will make uh, confused to the user 
Okay, use a standard format similar to paper-based form and reports. Use left to right and top to bottom uh, navigation. Maksudnya, just people fill up or the user fill up from bottom, from bottom block, from top to bottom and from left to right lah. Except you have a system on Arabic ke ataupun Japanese ke baru boleh pergi kanan ke kiri kan. Okay, clear. Uh, another one on this design interface Flexibility and consistency Free movement between field Okay, make sure they can go back and go uh, Right and left here As they have the options No permanent data storage until the user request Okay, because Kalau kita ada permanent data storage We'll uh, waste the uh, capacity of data storage And each key and command assigned to one function Janganlah kita Go the next button ni tiba Dia terus uh, padamkan As you can see here The next punya pop up tu keluar kan Tapi people know already This arrow will go to the next slide Okay so make sure dalam you punya prototype Later on you have the structuring data entry uh, Maksudnya for the entry Never require data that are already online Or that can be computed Yes, you just need a data or information Something that you want a user to fill up for you Okay, defaults Always provide default value when appropriate Okay, guna and general punya Units, make clear that type of data unit request for entry Replacement, caption ni just baca lah Justify ni semua on this uh, structuring of this uh, Apa ni, paragraph tadi lah and controlling data inputs objective is to reduce a data entry errors as i said uh, the first things in the video kita nak meminimiskan on this uh, apa tadi meminimiskan error uh, dalam kita punya system tu so that kita punya system is efficient because if lot of errors uh, occur dalam kita punya system ia akan uh, jeopardize kita punya system efficiency lah and kita punya function of the system so common soft, uh, sources of data entry error in this in the field is appending uh, meaning adding additional characters okay, which is character yang tak sepatutnya ada dalam that kind of uh, table ataupun uh, apa dia uh, Box tu Truncating Losing a characters Maksudnya tak cukup Nak tulis ke apa Atau not enough uh, Space Not enough uh, Wording Patut nama orang Maybe Maybe we can put a 200 words Because ada orang nama panjang kan So kita tak nak ada Truncating tu Losing a characters Transcripting Entering invalid data Tadi yang macam Macam cakap number numbers On the Symbol symbol ke and then transposing, reversing sequence of uh, characters This one I'm not sure lah hmm. Okay, uh, validation test and technique To enhance the validity of data input I think this one you boleh baca uh, Contoh, missing data Test for existence of data item in all field of a record Example, there are quantity a field of each line at the item of a customer order So Kita tak nak ada terhilang customer order 4 Mesti dah dapat dia 4 kan Takkan lah tiba-tiba dapat 3 je So kita punya apa ni Accountability of our system tu Can be jeopardized later on Let's say tak boleh fulfill up This uh, user punya needs So in the providing feedback Okay I go just the next slide eh. uh, Providing feedback Three types of feedback Okay this is important Status information Prompting cues Error or warning message uh, on the status information ni Keep user informed of what's going on Macam this one lah Kau kat sini nak pergi next And I on the page 34 ni Over 55 And prompting cues Tell user when input is needed And how to provide input Contoh I click Apa ni I click this print button Okay Apa yang keluar kat sini hmm. Contoh I nak print kat sini Okay, you can enter destination. Okay, I have HP desk chat. Boleh kah print ni? Print. Actually, I'm not connect my printer here, so should be ada queue atau bukan queue lah, ada pop up 
uh, notification keluar lah Meaning that I cannot print uh, my things Kenapa tak keluar ni? Eh? Okay Selalunya keluar, maybe I dah mati kan Usually they will tell uh, my uh, this uh, my PC ni uh, I cannot print this thing because Yes, uh, my printer is offline But this one Tapi you pernah nampak lah that kind of error kan Okay On the error or warning message Lebih kurang macam prompting cues ni But this one more to uh, inform uh, something is wrong lah Either with data entry or system operation So contohnya Kalau uh, they ask you to enter the number But you put the Apa ni letter Abjad Then dia akan keluar error tu Atau you tak boleh proceed lah Okay and then providing help Place yourself in the user place When designing a help Maksudnya Yes put yourself on the user punya shoes kan So make sure you punya design is simple, organized and show. Show ni is a useful to explicit show users how to perform an operation. Maksudnya they they knows uh, what to do actually when they uh, see your system. Okay, kat sini uh, types of help you can go to this uh, help on help, help on concept, procedure, message, menu, function key, command and words. Okay, because banyak jenis help lah. That's why kita ada frequently ask question tu. So, it can help the user to tackle on the problems. Okay, sebenarnya complete system nampak macam senang je kan. But you have to uh, look on this. Uh, kalau ada error apa kena buat. So, semua kena ada lah. Kena cover. Alright, tadi on this uh, menu eh. Now we go to the designing a dialogues The last one Sikit lagi nak habis ni okay, Dialog is the sequence of interaction between a user and a system So dialog design involve a dialog sequence Building a prototype and assessing usability Sama je sebenarnya Typical dialog between user and customer information system Yes, it's a request to view individual customer information Specific customer of interest Select the year to date transaction summary Review the customer information and leave the system So on this designing a dialogue So make sure there is consistent error handling uh, The prompting queue tadi Atau warning error or message Shortcuts and sequence Okay, they can jump to another uh, Parts of the system easily uh, Reversal, control, is feedback and closure Sama je sebenarnya Okay, dialog diagram, a formal method of designing representing human computer uh, dialog using box and line diagrams. Three sections of the box, it can be a top, middle or bottom. Okay, here are the samples. Mm. On the top, it's a unit reference. So on the second, mostly on the name, description or display. And the last one is a reference number or returns or display. Okay, um... Okay, sequence here like display A and B So they have the option They can use Choose a C, D or E later on hmm. Okay, this one is building a prototypes And assessing usability Optional activities Okay Maksudnya Once you're done with the dialogues The forms uh, Apa tadi? Um Interface, you can try to make a prototype Which is this one, the last assignment you have to do Okay, become an expert user of the GUI Graphical user interface uh, Understand how others application have been designed Or understand the standard And understand the available resources And how they can be used And become familiar with standards for menus and form Okay, uh, sebenarnya uh, GUI ni uh, standard punya general uh, guideline for making an uh, interface uh, or dialog I want to show you uh, on this uh, 10 bad web design uh, ni on the web design lah uh, web design lebih kurang juga lebih kurang macam system but on this one is uh, example of common error on the website designers so please don't uh, do this error dalam you punya prototype later on ok first one I can uh, design in chaos and mess of missing of grids Maksudnya as you can see ni Arn Grants is a poorly designed website Because semua ni 
crowded gila kan you cannot distinguish mana satu nak pergi kan terlampau crowded lah probably typography make unreadable uh, random of color use kan terlampau colorful Hmm, yang paling paling tak paling tak ber, ber, ber etika kat sini dia grid ada ada grid but the grid tu is not proper lah akan suka suka hati je okey so actually kita kena make a clean punya organized website so you have to macam Netflix ni kan kan dia ada grid dia daripada atas ni slider punya uh, option and then dia ke yes this one is pasal uh, accessories ke this one on the gift ideas kan ada uh, the grid tu lah we can distinguish on this section to another sections okay another one is on this uh, lacks of contrast okay, make sure you pick a color correctly okay um, bezakan especially the white color and the background tu lah because like this one we can't see clearly on the punya uh, writing Okay, so macam ni kalau contrast yang good, yes, we can ni pun sebenarnya tak apa nampak ni previously work with. Pak kita nampak ada contrast of the color. Next one is not responsive design. Uh, sekarang ni, as you know, uh, most of the website ataupun system they have this interact interactive design lah, uh, responsive design. Maksudnya ada sliding. Contoh kalau kita buka UITM Sarawak kan. Okay, kita first one we have this uh, slider ni Dia akan automatically slide lah Meaning that this web page is not static lah They have this interaction ha, Kan dia pusing macam ni dengan cantik sikit So we know this uh, we, It's nice to see lah sebenarnya On most of the website or system They have this kind of slider ni lah Untuk make sure the Some of the system atau uh, Some of the website they have the videos playing Automatically ada lagu keluar lah. Okay, depends lah on how actually you want to have on your context of your website or your system. Alright. Okay, uh, another one unpleasant color scheme. So, macam ni tulisan dengan background terlampau apa ni? Hmm, terlampau mix lah. So, you have to kalau boleh better contrast color lah. Black and white punya Uh, options choose kan lagi lagi senang nak baca okay. this one is for navigation and operations ok uh, terus kat belah kiri ni as you can see dia punya uh, navigation bar but menu bar actually but we don't know actually dekat mana actually this page uh, uh, on this should be tell the user lah kat mana kita sebenarnya ok uh, UAT, bad link and wrong CTA citation Contoh contact us now We know that's macam contact us now ni dah highlight kat sini It should, uh, it should show dekat kat bawah ni dia punya contact punya numbers lah Senang nak uh, Maksudnya link tu correctly lah Okay uh, Unclear interface image background Okay don't pick something too crowded ataupun too complicated for your background Okay, uh, last one uh, Make sure you punya Style is consistent Okay, ni terlampau banyak uh, Blank space sebenarnya It's not consistent Not have any white space Okay, uh, white space ni What they call it uh, Macam sebenarnya mata kita akan Which one nak focus dekat sini sebenarnya kan So, kalau ada white space ni Because everything is white on the Surrounding ni We can focus on the apa ni dia punya tulisan ni automatically lah ada spontaneous kita terus nampak tulisan ni design front end developer and mentors kalau macam atas ni actually because tak ada white space maksudnya kat sini uh, kita punya fokus ni macam mana masa tu nak baca ni penny juice ke 100 brand fruit juice ke so which contact you want to show for the user ni at the first uh, glance dia punya uh, you punya tengok sekali website tu apa actually nak, nak ceritakan Tiba-tiba ada sini leader in child care juice So confusing the user lah sebenarnya Alright so Ini saya is example sebenarnya hmm, Okay you can read on that one Alamak tak boleh baca Try I review on this one Refresh sorry 
so just after this (uh) look on my questions on this chapter eleven (uh) try to answer the question then (uh) next week I'll give you the answer but you have to submit [lah] (uh) your answer so that I know that you apa ni on my class for this week okay (uh) last one on this kita punya slide is common error in web design tadi which I show you (uh) show you or you already on this thing way com~ way kurang ada ditambah sikit complex URL uh, URL ni unique uh, unique uh, reference link you maksudnya you punya nama kau your site tu atau system tu miss make sure dia matching lah dengan you punya system uh, scrolling navigation page jangan terlalu banyak scroll scrolling macam ni should be have a, maybe ada satu button link for the top ni kita klik je dia punya link tu they can jump to the first page terus uh, hidden links ok jangan terlalu banyak hidden links ni hidden link ni link ni is good because uh, you can we can refer for the another reference but links that don't provide enough information is not good okay and for the summary i think if you have any question just uh, reply it in the uh comment lah okay okay like uh, chapter 7 is on designing form kita in chapter 8 but chapter 11 in the book if you have any comment just yes you just i comment kat sini lah class comment okay if you have any question Okay, that's all for today's video. Hope everyone's doing fine, doing good. Thanks for watching. See you on the next class. Ciao. Selamat ber... Sao. Berbuka. Thank you.